What's going on guys, Billy here, and the DJI Mavic Air 2 has a feature that no other consumer level drone made by DJI has. It's called AirSense and is a system that essentially allows you as the drone operator to view the location of manned aircraft in the vicinity of your drone's position. Now whether or not you have a Mavic Air 2, this technology is incredibly important to know about and to learn about because it's only in a matter of time that all of DJI's drones have AirSense built into them, whether it's part of their enterprise or consumer drone lineup. So I made a video about AirSense back in May of 2019, which is when DJI made a commitment to incorporating this technology into all future consumer drones weighing over 250 grams and released after January 1st, 2020. With the Mavic Air 2 here being the first consumer drone launched after that date, DJI has held up its promise by including an ADS-B receiver in the drone and they made sure to let us know with the branding that they included on the Flymore combo box and the sticker that they also included on the arm of the drone. So with the talk of remote ID swirling around the drone community, I think that it's really easy for people to think that AirSense is just another way that DJI is trying to limit where we can and can't fly our drones, but it's actually quite the opposite. So I think a really good place to start is to understand exactly how AirSense works. So built into the Mavic Air 2 is an ADS-B receiver that picks up signals emitted by an ADS-B transmitter that's found inside of a manned aircraft, and it's this that gives us the ability to open up the fly application on any mobile device that we're flying our drone with and see where these manned aircraft are in in real time. Now, the thing to note and the important thing to really understand is that this drone does not have an ADS-B transmitter. It's only a receiver. So while we can see the position of other manned aircraft, they can't see our position. Our drone's location is not being broadcasted for everyone to see. Now, to get an even better understanding of exactly how this system works, I took a screen recording when I was shooting photos down at the Ben Franklin Bridge as a manned aircraft approached my drone's location. First, I was prompted in the top left corner that a manned aircraft was nearby and the map in the bottom left corner began flashing an outline of orange. Once I tapped on the map, it instantly snapped to show me the position of the manned aircraft in relation to my Mavic Air 2. Its position updated frequently in real time and it gave me a good understanding of what I had to do to make sure I didn't collide with the helicopter. I also want to point out that even when the map isn't taking up the full screen, you can still see the position of the manned aircraft there in the bottom left corner, but once it exits the frame, then the map snaps back to follow the position of your drone, just like always. I really like how DJI integrated AirSense into the map that's already present in the Fly application, and in my opinion, it just makes that tool so much more powerful and so much more valuable. Now, when you begin to use AirSense, you soon realize that this feature is definitely in its infant stages, and it has a lot of work to be done and a lot of functions to be added. So for example, two things that come to mind, I'd like to know what type of aircraft it is that's flying near me, whether it's a jet, whether it's a helicopter, whether it's a small personal plane. I'd also like like to know the calibrated altitude of said aircraft. So let's say it's up 20,000 feet. I know I don't actually have to worry about that aircraft, but if it's flying at the same general altitude as me, I want to know that. I actually, during my time using the Mavic Air 2, and it's actually the same screen recording I showed you guys earlier, tried to do some clicking around and tapping around the screen to figure out if I could find exactly how to find the calibrated altitude of the aircraft that was flying near my drone. But all I could find was ways to like change what the map looked like. I could change the heading of the map, and I could also change the sensitivity of AirSense, but I couldn't actually see the altitude of that aircraft. Now, to sort of stray away from AirSense, I do want to take the time to shed some light on an app that I use almost every single time that I fly, and that is Flight Radar 24. This is in no way a sponsored video for them. It's just an app that I've been using for years now and shows the location of most manned aircraft up in the sky in real time. You can view what kind of aircraft they are, and you can see what their altitude is, so if you don't have a Mavic Air 2 and want to be vigilant to see what other aircraft are up there in the sky, I'd highly recommend checking this app out. So I think that that was an over explanation of what AirSense is and how you use it. In a nutshell, it's basically just a way for you as a drone operator to see within the fly application exactly where these other manned aircraft are in real time. I probably could have just uploaded a minute long video, but of course I wanted to go in depth for you guys. And now I want to close it out by going over two frequently asked questions I'm sure everybody has, and I'm sure people will be leaving down the comment section. The first of which I think I actually already answered pretty Pretty well in the beginning of the video, it is that this drone, the Mavic Air 2, only has an ADS-B receiver, so it can only receive these transmissions and these ADS-B signals. It's not transmitting out its position, so nobody's going to know where your drone is. 
I think I already explained that, but I just wanted to reiterate myself. Now, another question I'm sure some people have is with this technology, can DJI control where we do and don't fly? Well, no, because even though there's a manned aircraft near us, DJI software isn't going to automatically lower our drone or isn't automatically going to change the course of our drone. In my opinion, that would be problematic on a whole new level because then you're relying on the sensors of this drone. If it tries to veer away on its own from another manned aircraft that's in the area as a precaution and it then causes damage to like a building or it runs into a tree or just something like that, it really wouldn't be good. So just know that with AirSense, it acts as a warning device or a warning feature that lets you know where these aircraft are and it doesn't actually take control over your drone. So let me know what you guys think of AirSense down in the comment section below. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to ask them again in the comment section. Uh, and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.